Yeah, Nobody got it right? Nobody's even come close. Wow. All right, here we go. Remember, guys, it's something we've opened in the past ten times. Let me tell you something. I wouldn't eat this gum if it meant that I couldn't eat again for two weeks. I wouldn't eat it. I'd rather not eat. Or your stomach would explode. I, I, I'd rather my stomach explode than have every, any, something else explode. <laughs> Eating that gum would be the equivalent of eating at a uh, Chinese food buffet for like two weeks straight, every meal. Guys, this I can't believe we're not even close on this. I might need a hint. Might need a hint. Give you a hint, guys. The hint would be... would be that uh, the president of the United States during the time that that gum was pulled was uh, packaged was John F. Kennedy. JFK. Oh, and my nose is starting to tinkle a little because I put that gum near it. It is filthy, disgusting, horrendous. It's it's no wonder. Listen guys, if you want to like you could probably go hunting with that gum. You don't have to you don't have to do anything. You don't have to shoot anybody or anything. Just give them that gum. Drop right right there. Done. Filthy. Horrendous. They, nope. So far Mike is close, right? Remember, it's something we would have opened. Dwight Jones, spot one. Michael, there's no 63 Bowman baseball. You know that. Lloyd be free. I wish we opened Mars Attacks. That would be great. Butch Beard. Let me remind everybody that that gum smells like body odor. Like unwashed armpits. Swen Nader. Like, like just rancid, old, unwashed Tupperware that sat in your locker for like two weeks before you opened it and watched. You ever, you ever happened? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you're. Oh, oh I'm just imagining it. Hey, Mark, JFK was dead by the time 65 Philadelphia football came out, unfortunately. Here's Scott Wedman. Although, oh, we got Bernard the King rookie coming up for Stephen G. Bernard the King. Now Jeff's getting creative. 62 tops untouchables. Wow, this is the longest time we've ever had... So Nicholas is very close. Jordan, you're close. We've already talked about that before. Wasn't JFK president in 1960? Or am I wrong? Was he elected in 1960 and he became president in 1961? So guys, I stand corrected. 61. Well, what does it say in a sticker? Don't die. Oh. Guys, I'm gonna give you guys the opportunity. It's actually 19. Uh, it's 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 not 19. It's I'll give you a hint. It's from 1960. You got to tell me the brand and the sport. Like Robert Bacon wins. So I'm gonna do another one to make up for it. So Robert Bacon's the winner. But I'll do another one because of my p p very poor um, history lesson that I gave you guys today. All right, so uh, can you just, uh, Robert Bacon, can you write that down? Just so I know, and I'm going to do another one. After I open this pack, Jim Clemens. I will find, I will find another rancid piece of gum for you. Here's Bill Walton. Wow, a lot of Hall of Famers in this pack. Let's follow it up, Bill Walton. 62 Star Wars. Just, uh, yeah, give it to me. Because I need to know. Alright, 
So let me put this horrendous piece of gum back in the, uh, the chute. Here's the next one. Looking for really rancid gum here. Look, oh, 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 this is the worst gum we've ever had. Yeah. Oh my God. Guys, $10 break credit. Worst gum. Let me tell you something. Sam, this gum needs to be checked into a hospital. <laughs> and if they don't have a gum hospital, they need to do one today. Look at that. Oh. It literally looks like somebody... Oh, man. I don't know what they did with this. Like they burned it. This, this was burned. This was, this was like... Puked on. Pooped on. Somebody dragged... Like, like they dragged it in mud. They took a match to it. But somehow it's miraculously still intact. It's got pimples. It's got mold. It smells like... Smells like... Old, moldy sneakers. There you go. $10 for that one as well. Here's a Pistol Pete. Let me tell you something. That piece of gum, whoever... Whoever, uh, top should be, uh, they should put warning labels on their packs. Do not attempt to eat this gum after the year of issuance. It's a little late for that now. I'm pretty sure the statute of limitations has expired on any disease that one could catch from touching or, or holding on to, uh, that gum, eating it, anything like that. It, that, that's, Mike, that gum even has a gum stain. Oh, this is a good pack of 78 basketball. He had Lloyd Free, uh, Bernard King rookie, Doug Collins, Bob Gross, how appropriate. <laughs> Bill Walton, Pete Maravich, Bob Dandridge, good pack. Oh, 2019 Bowman Baseball. Michael Russo is probably having a good time opening that. I know that just came out today. 